Welcome to a bonus Wax Ecstatic pack break here. I teased you about this last week heading into our podcast about repacked wax. Well, we opened the first two packs of a five card or five pack mini pack that you can buy from repackedwax.com. All right, got a Hall of Famer, a couple of Hall of Fame worthy candidates, nice spread of cards from 1978 all the way up to 2007. Let's see what these three bring to the table. Let's start off with this one. You ready? All right, we've got our repacked wax stickers guarding the cards, and we start action-packed with Bobby Richardson. Now, I remember action-packed mostly for football. When did they do this? This was a throwback uh, edition, 1992. So here you have the action-packed uh, vintage cards here. That's that's kind of a fun one. And, of course, you had the embossed kind of a 3D standout there. And, of course, gold. Everything in the early 90s was gold. All right, Lance Parrish, in his rather forgettable days uh, as a Philadelphia Philly. I know Phillies fans would like to forget that contract he signed. Here we go with a truly vintage card here and in great shape, too. 1961 tops Camille Carrion. That is uh, in beautiful shape there. And Carrion with the white socks in that picture. And uh, a rookie card, too. That's uh, that's great shape. Nice find there. All right, we've got Ron Hassey of the Yankees from 86 tops. We have the upper deck Anduhar Cedeno, the collector's choice edition from 1994. Um, showing him sliding in uh, to the base here in his old Astros uniform. You know, I, I criticized Donruss for kind of mailing it in with new logos and uh, team designs, but uh, clearly <laughs> upper deck. Although I will give them credit, card number 75 here. So it was uh, early in the release. All right, John Danks, then with the Chicago White Sox uh, from 2012. So definitely on the later more recent uh, end of the spectrum, I should say. Spike Owen of the Red Sox. Look at this, a nice 1973 Topps card. Great condition to Johnny Jeter of the Chicago White Sox. Clearly not in a White Sox uniform here. Let's see, who is he with? Oh, the Padres. This is why he's laughing, because even though the White Sox weren't all that great in the early 70s, definitely the Padres were. So he's thrilled to hear he's been traded. To the Padres. John Marzano and his 88 Fleer card. We've got Jeff Parrott, the uh, nicely trimmed Jeff Parrott here, 91 Donruss. 94 Donruss featuring Crocky, John Crock, mashing a ball into right field, I'm sure. Your rated rookie, 1990 Donruss, Mark Fetters, or Mike Fetters, that's how rated he was. I can't say his name right. Doug Flynn, then a wily veteran with the Montreal Expos, had a, a few, uh, you know, not too exciting years uh, with the Mets. We have Mike Stanton. No, not the Mike Stanton you're probably thinking of. There was a Mike Stanton who pitched for the Atlanta Braves in the early 90s. No, this is Mike Stanton of the Seattle Mariners, his 85 Fleer card, and a great. 82 tops card, the all-star version of Ken Singleton. Not only is this uh, in great condition, this will go to my uh, soon-to-be hand-collated 82 tops set, but in the background, and you see this in a lot of Orioles cards from the late 70s and early 80s, in the background here, this is the old Miami Stadium. Orioles spring-trained in uh, Miami for a long, long time. Had a, a minor league operation there, too. All right, let's open up our second pack here. What do we got? Our stickers. Once again, smartly protecting these cards. And we start with 93 Bowman, Jose Guzman. Uh, or 92, I'm sorry. I, I keep getting 92 and 93 mixed up here. So we have Jose Guzman, Hall of Famer George Brett in his 89 upper deck card. Look at that powder blue. Beauty. Frank Thomas, a Topps Numbers Crunchers card. When was this? Uh, 1997. Dan Pasqua, 
in his 86 clear card. We've got from 94 upper deck, Kim Batiste of the Philadelphia Phillies. Ah, the uh, Ronaldo Colasso TCMA card, Rogers Hornsby. So look at that from 1980. We talked about the Renato Colasso collection in a previous podcast. John Denny, 87 tops. Great condition, Alan Bannister, 77 tops. I'm going to compare this to what I have in my hand collated box here because this might actually replace whatever I've got in here. That's a great condition card. Uh, Alan Bannister also seen here. We were talking about the uh, Miami Stadium card with uh, Ken Singleton. Uh, this is uh, the old X Exhibition Stadium in Toronto here in the background. 88 score, Bob Ojeda. 91 Donruss, Mike Jackson. Not to be confused with Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. A Topps Heritage, Edgar Martinez. This is a beauty. So this was in uh, 2000, let me see, this was modeled after the 54, so this would have been 2003 Topps Heritage with a nice take on the 54 Topps cards. And, of course, uh, standard size, not the big size, like the original 54. 90 Topps, Bob Boone. Booney uh, near the end of his career there with the Royals. Love the old royal blue and the rather modern 90 Topps design. And, of course, the, um, uh, the rather uh, Art Deco design on the back here. But this is pre-internet, how you learned about Bob Boone. It was pretty neat to see a guy whose career started in 1972. This is what it looked like uh, to a 13-year-old kid in 1990. 1983, we've got Alan Fowkes of the San Francisco Giants. Looks like he's at spring training in Phoenix there. Jason Thompson. We talked about Thompson. Uh, his uh, name was uh, uh, Upper Deck. Jason Thompson, a slugger for the Pittsburgh Pirates here in the all-gold Pittsburgh Pirates Union in 1985. And not Lance Parrish, but Larry Parrish here is 81 Tops card with the Montreal Expos. All right, last but not least, let's open up our final repacked wax pack. Pretty exciting to see the mix of cards here. All right, so let's pull our stickers off. Once again, we're starting with 92 Bowman, Rich Delucia. And he's either laughing at something or he's holding in a fart. Not quite sure what's going on there. 89 Upper Deck Jay Buhner, of course, uh, Buhner, the subject of uh, Seinfeld episode. Why would you trade this guy, right? So here he is in his early days with the Seattle Mariners. Yeah, look at that. Only a couple years in the big leagues. And he would become a, a smash there. Speaking of a smash, 2001 award winner Barry Bonds. This is his 2002 Tops total. Uh, nice little award winner there. Stu Kleinberg of the 86 uh, California Angels here. A little bit of a stain here. That's a little odd, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to pull the whole value down. Rod Beck, or as Chris Berman would, would say, Rod Beck, 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 94 upper deck, collector's choice. Another uh, great Renata Galasso card here is we have George Sizzler. Again, from the 1980 collection featuring stars of the 1920s and 30s. Mike Clevenger of the Cleveland Indians. Now, this is obviously a very recent card. What was this, 27? No, 2018. So uh, when we say cards of the 2000s, you might get a card from uh, a couple years ago. Dwight Evans and his 87 Tops card. Elias Sosa of the L.A. Dodgers, 1977 Tops. Again, great condition. So I'm going to compare this to what I have in my hand collated set because this will probably replace it. Mike Aldretti in his 88 scorecard. Oh, another Mike Jackson. Well, I've been looking to bone up on my 91 Donruss Mike Jackson. Once again, 2003 Topps Heritage, D'Angelo Jimenez with a great reproduction of the classic 1954 Topps card. Going back to 1990 Topps, Tim Burtzis. Rich Gale, his 83 Fleer card. We've got the 85 uh, tops here, father, son, Ozzy Virgil Sr. and Jr. And then wrapping up our pack here from 81 tops, 
Ron Davis. So in our three packs here, quite the assortment here. Let me just spread these out here. So you got some all-stars, got some notable names, got some uh, cool Hall of Famers, and some great vintage too. All right. So we've got the 1961 Tops card here, Camilo Carrion. Let me get that into the view. We had 73 Tops, a couple of 77 Tops cards. Again, I'll be comparing these to what I have in my hand collated set. Some early 80s Fleer Wonders, 81 Tops as well, 82. And then some more contemporary stuff as well. It's been a blast opening these up. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that uh, you take part in this by purchasing some repacked wax at repackedwax.com. And by supporting uh, a guy who was a guest on our show recently who created repacked wax and, and really uh, created a, a, a fun product here. And it's a great experience to open up some of these older cards here. So my thanks again to Ryan Cornell for joining us on the program last week. Again, these cards here, I paid for them myself. Uh, he said I got no special treatment these packs. If if you were in my place in line for the purchases, this is exactly what you would have gotten. And it's a, a pretty fun assortment, a grand total of 75 cards here, ranging from 1961 all the way up to 2018, which is very, very cool. So thank you for watching this bonus packs pack break from Wax Ecstatic. Make sure you sub subscribe to Wax Ecstatic's YouTube channel and join us for our next podcast that will be coming your way on Friday, March the 12th.